Having a dominant party in the unity government coalition would not augur well for Anwar Ibrahim's administration, analysts said. James Chin of the University of Tasmania said with a dominant party, the majority of decisions would reflect their interests while the views from other parties that form the unity coalition would be ignored. He cited AMNO, the linchpin of Barisan National, as an example. During the time when Barisan National was in power, it was a coalition in name only. AMNO actually uh, was running the government. They were just using the Barisan National uh, to show that they're multiracial, where in fact uh, they did not. They have never bothered what Barisan National wants. Council of Professors fellow Jinnari Amir said the dynamics in the Unity Coalition, which comprises Pakatan Harapan, BN, Gabungan Rakyat Sabah and Gabungan Party Sarawak, differed from those of the BN AMNO government. Different entity, different components and entity altogether. So it cannot uh, follow the concept or the way Barisan National no, handle it is their, their remiss of the party. I mean, not too dominant to the extent mm -hmm. of uh, PKR, for example, think tank terms. Now, the others uh, because, you know, uh, just follow. It should be around some balance because it's very fragile, it's, it's sensitive here. Yeah.